So what if you have no idea what TRT is, but you show all the low T symptoms? So this is what this video is all about. Welcome. This is the TRT and Hormone Optimization YouTube channel. And if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic, consider subscribing, hit that notification bell, and you'll be on your way. We welcome back to the channel Guilty. Welcome, Gil. Thank you, Stephen. It's a pleasure. Before we forget it, if you want to get in contact with Gil, the link to his website is in the description of this video. So, Gil, tell us, if a patient shows low testosterone symptoms, but he has no idea about TRT, what to tell him? Well, TRT simply means testosterone replacement therapy. HRT means hormone replacement therapy. Uh, they're kind of one and the same. They're interchangeable. They're often used, uh, you know, by different people to mean the same thing. Uh, hormone therapy is a little broader because it encompasses other types of hormones that people may look to optimize or supplement or replace. Uh, but overall, it's usually used as an interchangeable term. So when guys are seeking out TRT or any sort of hormonal therapy replacement, uh, the first step is to find a competent provider or someone who can medically supervise, advise, prescribe, and treat and manage the ongoing therapy for as long as they're going to be on this therapy, which presumably is going to be for the rest of their life if they're coming in deficient from day one. Because remember, this is not a Kickstarter. This is a replacement for a deficiency, which only gets worse over time. So once you fix this deficiency, you sort of rely on it to sustain. And that is not necessarily a bad thing. That is, that is a good thing when done correctly. Now, when I say finding a competent provider, it sounds like pretty simple to do, right? You go to your family physician, you get a referral, you see a urologist, endocrinologist, et cetera. The problem is that most are following guidelines that have been set many years ago. They're following old science, they're following protocols, uh, or excuse me, protocols that are kind of designed to mitigate litigation risk or protect the provider, or they're written by the insurance companies who want to save as much money as possible and not pay for proper protocols. They may drag you into the office for administration of medication. They may do it infrequently, so they don't have to pay for too many office visits, and they may limit the types and amounts of medication that you're able to uh, be administered, and they may also require specific medications that cause more harm than good because they are designed to essentially prophylactically treat symptoms that may occur in the future. And again, this comes down to preventing liability for the clinic. So all of these things are common practice. And unfortunately, this is where guys fall through the loop. They go in and they put their trust and confidence into someone that is there to presumably help them. And I do truly believe that these providers go in with good intent, okay? And they generally go in wanting to help guys and they go through these seminars and this is what they learn. The problem is that these seminars are put together, together by the pharmaceutical industry and the insurance industry and the powers that be from a financial standpoint. And they are trickling down to the providers the information that suits the business model. The patient is the victim because they are then mistreated and then they go out and they find a group like ours or a YouTube channel like ours and they say, I have tried this, it failed, or I've had all these symptoms and side effects as a result um, and it's not what I thought it would be. It's not your fault, you've just not gone about it the right way. Now, not to self-promote, but if you want to reach out through me, uh, to me through the link in the bottom there, I can guide you. We do have a network of clinics, which I am the director of, and we do uh, provide protocols properly and effectively to thousands of patients around the country. And uh, if you're international, I cannot help you on a medical level, but I can help you on a consultation informational level via that same link where we can hop on a 30 minute Zoom conversation like this, go through your signs and symptoms, go through your protocols, and at least you'll walk away with valuable information that you can take back to your provider and utilize yourself. So you do have resources out there. I'm glad you found this channel. I'm glad you're watching this video and you're able to educate yourself so that you can take the proper steps. The bottom line is you have to understand the quality of your life is in your hands. The fact that you entrust others to guide you does not mean that you're handing over the remote control. You're still responsible for yourself. You're still an adult and no one is going to care more about you than you. So understand that the more education you get from the right sources and the more uh, experience you gain as you go down your journey of optimizing yourself, the better off you're going to be. Have patience. This is a lifelong journey taken several months or possibly longer 
to find the sweet spot and find where you can mitigate the adverse effects and only benefit from the rewards that you reap is a well worthy investment in the rest of your life. Your future depends on it. So don't give up on yourself. Get the right people to guide you along and don't fear the process. Have patience and maintain a level of excitement about it. That's the best advice I can give to someone who is new and really doesn't understand a whole lot. We can spend 45 minutes talking about the ins and outs and details of testosterone. There's tons of videos in this channel discussing all of those details. But if you're going to watch one to develop a mindset on where to begin, I think what we just discussed is a good goal as to how to even approach it. And like I said, if you choose the right provider to start, the education process will be ongoing throughout your entire journey and it'll allow you to retain and sustain a lot more information than trying to overwhelm yourself right out of the gate. Thank you, Gil. So this video is in the playlist called New to TRT, start here. Another video in that playlist is also by Gil explaining much more about the whole process and is called TRT 101. Thank you, Gil. My pleasure. And that video is about an hour long. So like I said, you know, start at your own pace. And, uh, the, you know, we have, we have hundreds of hours of videos in this channel alone. And now do this next. Click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.